Hi YouTube. I was just tooling around on the ICR website, Institute for Creation and Research, and I decided to look at their Evidence for Creation page. It's a fun little page. It has evidence for nothing. I looked under the Evidence from Earth Science portion, and you can see my link over here. I was looking at a particular article on how diamonds are evidence for a young earth. This is one of the rare cases where you find creationists who actually did an experiment. What they did was to take various materials and do carbon-14 dating on them. Carbon-14 dating is generally considered the least reliable method of dating in the earth sciences. If you want a reliable date, you use potassium argon, you use uranium lead, you use rubidium strontium. But carbon-14, it's weak. It doesn't go back very far. It's easily contaminated. It has problems that other systems don't. And when you have people who are experts in creationism trying to do an experiment on a problematic system, you wind up with them getting kooky results. What they did was look at diamonds. They measured the diamonds for carbon-14. They found that they had trace amounts of carbon-14, and so they got a carbon-14 date on the diamonds, which they claimed was the more accurate date than any other dating method that was done on the diamonds or the rocks that the diamonds were enclosed in. It's baffling to me how these people can do this. First of all, for the amounts of carbon-14 they were looking at, they are probably looking at contamination. It's probably trace contamination from other samples. But just to give them the experimental benefit of the doubt, it's reasonable to think that you would have late-stage contamination of the diamonds after they reached the surface. So you have a diamond reach the surface, conceivably within the last 100,000 years. They didn't say where their diamonds came from, or I could go look that up. They simply noted the discrepancy. You have the diamonds come up, they interact with the atmosphere, the outer layer gets some contamination. You do an analysis on the entire diamond, and you see that little bit of contamination on the outer rim. So either you have contamination of the diamond when it reached the surface, or you have contamination in the lab, depending on how they did it. It's really meaningless. And it's a great example, too, of how creationist logic works. You have an experiment that shows trace amounts of carbon-14 in diamonds. It's not that surprising. It's not that big a deal. It's an interesting curiosity, but nobody would use carbon-14 dating on diamonds, even if the diamonds came up 400 years ago. There would be no point because of their source deep in the mantle. The only thing that the experiment shows is that there's carbon-14 in the diamonds. It doesn't show that all of science is wrong. It doesn't show that the Earth is 6,000 years old. It doesn't show that evolution is wrong. More importantly, it doesn't show that the Earth was created suddenly, and it doesn't show that the Earth was created 6,000 years ago. It doesn't show existence of God. It doesn't show any of the things that the creationists are claiming. And that's the exact problem with this kind of logic. You do an experiment that's dubious, and then you claim that it supports everything that you believe, except that it doesn't do any of that. If you want to have fun with creationists, ask them for evidence. Not evidence that evolution is wrong or that the Earth is old. Evidence far 
creation positive evidence. I've never seen any. <laughs>